Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode is a listener request from Blade Brown. He said, can you do Saints safety Kenny Vaccaro vid? And yeah, I think I can do uh, the Saints safety Kenny Vaccaro. Uh, safety is a position that we, at least I have not talked about that much on this channel. Uh, mainly skill position players, quarterbacks, and edge players. Uh, so I think it might be sort of a good change of pace to talk about somebody other than uh, quarterbacks and uh, stuff like that. You know, I do like talking about quarterbacks. It's just there, there's other things, you know, there's other players' positions uh, to kind of evaluate. Um, and for those that aren't very familiar with the data terms I'm going to be talking about today, like defensive market share, uh, explosive lower body strength score, speed score, and flexibility score, the, the terms and definitions of those terms is going to be in the description. So... Uh, if, if you're not sure what any of the things I'm saying are, uh, you can just go to the description. Uh, if you still want more explanation on things, you can leave a comment below if you have any questions. Uh, and then, of course, you can also go back to any of my previous videos on the matter. And uh, I go into kind of detail there as well, at least more detail than usual. So just to kind of speed up the process a bit, just putting the terms in the description and then... You know, you can check it out, and if you have any questions, just uh, comment, leave a comment below. So, starting with Kenny Vaccaro, uh, when it comes to his production coming out of college, uh, this is his market share production here, uh, compared to free safety types. Uh, he had a 77.71 solo tackle market share score, a 43.95 uh, interception market share score, and a 56.95 uh, pass selection market share um, score. Uh, based on my data since the uh, 1989 NFL draft class, at least when it comes to defensive players and defensive safety specifically, um, he he pretty much hits most of the markers you're looking for. Uh, hits the solo tackle mark the solo the solo tackle markers for all pro player. Doesn't hit the all pro markers in terms of his interception market share. Does hit the Pro Bowl markers. And doesn't quite hit the pass selection market share markers uh, when it comes to his pass selection market share uh, of 56.95. It doesn't really hit the threshold of 98.47 or 70.91 out of 100. And this is every single free safety type who became uh, all pro player, uh, Earl Thomas, Ed Reed, those types of guys, or Pro Bowl players, Antoine Roll. Um, you know, any, any sort of multiple Pro Bowl player in that time span um, that I have uh, available data on, um, you know, all those guys hit at least 70.91 when it comes to pass flexion marks your data, um, which is the only real concern of Kenny Vaccaro coming out, um, is he had all the sort of traits of a long-term starting safety versus a multiple Pro Bowl or high-quality NFL safety type based on his uh, production data. Um, which is kind of a shame because his athleticism data was kind of decent. If you look at his athleticism data, he had an 86.77 explosive lower body strength score, a 67.25 speed score, and a 94.87 flexibility score. Um, based on this data as well, he pretty much hits all the sort of thresholds you're looking for when it comes to a Pro Bowl safety, specifically hits the flexibility marks you're looking for in that particular area, hits the explosion marks you're looking for in that area, but his speed score doesn't really quite hit um, the thresholds it needs to hit when it comes to that position. And again, this is with free safety types, um, not strong safety types. So um, for the most part, his athleticism data is very intriguing. Um, that might have been why he was drafted, is, is they were banking on his athleticism uh, over everything else. But um, I would just say that his only real issue, again, is his production data. Um, basically he would grade out more so as a long-term starting safety than a multiple pro bowl or multiple all pro type safety and just in my own sense of evaluation you know whenever i'm making a big board or, or whatever i feel like first round picks usually need to be uh guys with potential to be multiple all pro multiple pro bowl types and day two is where <clears throat> you get into more so the long-term starter sort of threshold of things. Now, that isn't always the case. NFL teams make mistakes, you know. They push Pro Bowl talents down 
uh, all pro talents down the board. Uh, but in Kenny Vaccaro's case, I, I would just say that in that particular draft class, he would not have been given a first round grade because of his uh, production data not really meeting the sort of stuff that it, that it needs to meet. However, there's nothing wrong with him being a long term starter because he does hit at least. Uh, most of the sort of requirements necessary for a long-term starting safety based on his data in terms of production and also in terms of his athleticism. Then, of course, when we get to his NFL production, um, Kenny Vaccaro has been, you know, pretty decent. Um, uh, most of his impact years in terms of total impact, and just so you know, this is at the NFL level, uh, solo tackle market share, interception market share, and pass deflection market share, all those, those are scored against NFL players. So it's the same methodology, it's just at the NFL level, and total impact is just all those sort of numbers combined into one number um, to kind of give you sort of, you know, how well they do in terms of solo tackles compared to their peers, how well they do in terms of interceptions compared to peers, and how well they do when it comes to pass flexion marks. Um, so for the most part, Kenny Vaccaro has been very good in terms of impact. He's never had a top 10 impact season throughout his career. Um, in particular, his pass deflection mark share, although he came into the NFL in 2013 with a very high pass deflection market share year, he regressed uh, you know, every single year consecutively from 2014 to 2016, his pass deflection. It's kind of going back to what it was in college, you know, being a guy who is a, you know, definitely above average, but not exactly spectacular when it comes to that particular metric. Um, but he's been a fairly good safety. You know, when it comes to his data. So, I would say there's lots of positives with him. If you look at the uh, 2016 season in particular, and this is just in terms of total impact that year, uh, at least the total impact score, uh, you know, in terms of everything sort of combined. And, and Kenny Vaccaro fared fairly well. You know, he was about a top 15, a top 16 type of safety. Uh, and in many ways, if you think of the NFL as their 64 starting safeties, and he's amongst the top 16, and he's an above average safety. So um, I, I think that isn't very surprising based on his athleticism data and also based on uh, you know some of his uh, production data. Um, I would just say that for the career, or at least for the future with Vicaro, he should pretty much put up the same sort of stats he's been putting up. Um, I, I don't really see him having like a major breakout season 100% um, because he just hasn't been able to put it all together in college, let alone the NFL. Um, he is above average. I mean, he has above average athleticism traits and he has been, in term, you know, above average in terms of production. And keep in mind, guys, you know, a lot of you guys take heat to me uh, because I point out some of the negatives in a player. Uh, but the bottom line is, is if, if the player isn't elite, if the player isn't a top five player, then he just isn't a top five player. And there really isn't anything wrong with that. I'm not going to hand out a, a top 15 ribbon, you know, like <laughs> you wouldn't do that either. So um, I'm just kind of pointing out the facts. And at least with the facts with Vaccaro, you know, he's an above average safety. Um, he has above average athleticism traits. Uh, he has some above average uh, production traits. He's really close in terms of being a Pro Bowl type safety type, but he just can't seem to break through in the NFL. I don't know if that has to do with the pass flexion market share in college, uh, at least not meeting the threshold for that or not, um, because again, there are things on paper to say that Kenny Vicar could be an outlier um, as a Pro Bowl player in terms of multiple Pro Bowls, because again, it's, it's not about going to the Pro Bowl once, it's about going there three times. Um, and I don't quite think Kenny Vaccaro will ever reach that height of things because he's just struggled so much to kind of get to those heights. However, uh, you know, he's a good safety. Uh, he has lots of positives and I, I don't think it should be, um, I don't think you should be upset if Kenny Vaccaro is your starting safety in the NFL because he's shown to put up fairly good production, fairly good impact, and he doesn't really have any big uh, athletic liabilities to him uh, as well. So, I think he's a pretty solid player. If you just look at him on paper and you look at all the other sort of stuff with him. So in conclusion with uh, Kenny Vaccaro, uh, I think it's pretty clear that when you look at the data coming out of college, uh, he pretty much looked more so like a long-term starting safety than a multiple Pro Bowl, multiple All-Pro type. But, that, but the data does speak to the fact that 
you don't necessarily need to be a multiple Pro Bowl or multiple All Pro type to put up above average production because, you know, the thing is, is you know, it's basically shoot for the stars, settle for the moon, you know, type of thing. Um, and uh, I mean, that's always been my approach with data. And uh, the bottom line is with Vicaro is. You know, he is a guy who is not exactly the stars, but he is a moon, you know. Um, he's that type of prospect that, um, you know, has all the sort of traits you're looking for. Probably will never be able to put it all together for three consecutive seasons of top five production or top ten production, you know, because he hasn't done it in his career at this point. And despite the fact he may have one year here or there that's really, really good, I just don't think that it's going to happen consecutively um, for a guy like this based on his college production in the past but that isn't a bad thing you know it isn't bad for a player to be an above average safety but just isn't a safety that is ever really going to be an elite safety I don't think there's anything wrong with that um, I think that's a positive there's tons of teams who who have that safety you know <laughs> so um, you could do far worse uh, is I guess what I'm trying to say than Kenny Vaccaro, and um, I, I think he's pretty much shown out to be exactly um, what you want. Well, maybe not living up to the first round status, but definitely a guy that I think is going to be a long term starter for the future uh, and whatever team he's on and put up pretty decent impact too. Uh, so, again, my name is James Coburn. You can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.